Star Citizen is a vast game, and there's a lot of things to learn. While it can seem very overwhelming at first, I want to give you the ability to understand Star Citizen. My goal is not only to teach you the fundamentals, but to allow you to explore things on your own and really enjoy Star Citizen for what it is. In the main menu, you have three options available to you. You have the Persistent Universe, also known as the PU, Star Marine, and Arena Commander. While this tutorial is only going to focus on the PU, I want you to keep in mind that you can always go into Star Marine to practice your FPS combat or jump into Arena Commander to test out your piloting skills. Once you first boot up the game and go into the PU, you'll be given the option to create your character. This works by selecting templates and and then mixing and matching between templates to get the desired character. Once you're done here, you'll be shown a menu that gives you an option of where to spawn. The only place we have right now is the Stanton system, although they'll be adding different systems in the future. This system has four possible spawn points, which correlates to four planets belonging to four separate corporations. I don't want to dwell too much into what system to start out with, because there are actually pros and cons to each one depending on what you'd like to do, but for new players, I usually recommend Area 18. Once you selected your location, you will spawn in a bedroom in that city. No matter what major city you spawn at, you will always spawn at one of two locations, either the hotel or the spawn area as it's most commonly referred to, or the hospital. The main location that allows you to traverse the universe is known as the spaceport. In all spawning locations in major cities will always be divided by elevator systems, whether it be the hotel or the hospital. Hospitals in Star Citizen also function as respawn points. Whenever you find a clinic in a new station or a hospital, you can always go to the insurance area where you can set it as your imprint area. The imprint area is where you will spawn. This imprint can always be reset back to your main base that you selected at the start of the game. To interact with the world of Star Citizen, you need to use interaction mode. To use this mode, all you have to do is hold on F and move your mouse around. Different interaction options should pop up depending on what you're trying to interact with. After taking the elevator to the main floor, your next goal is to find a tram station. This can be located by looking around for signs saying things like spaceport. Once located, just run up to it and wait for the train to arrive. Usually right above the station, you will see a timer indicating how long till the next one arrives. Once you're in the spaceport, you're trying to find the main lobby. In the main lobby, you will find monitors with a yellow screen. This yellow screen is indicated with a fingerprint on it. This screen allows you to access the ships available to you. These are all ships that are either bought with real currency or within the game itself. Not only will the monitor show you the ship you have available to you, but its location as well. If you ever lose a ship, you can come back to these monitors and claim your ship through this monitor system. Once you hit the claim feature, it will have a timer on it indicating how long till the ship is available to you again. Now, before we spawn our ship and start heading into space, let's go over a few of the things that are important to know in Star Citizen. First is the Moby Glass. This is the game's version of your smartphone. It can be accessed by pressing F1. Once you're in this menu, you will see a list of icons on the bottom, each corresponding to different things. The main thing we're going to be looking at today is the Ship Manager tool. The Ship Manager tools allows you to look at all your ships available to you in that space station as long as they are docked. From here you can customize your ship by changing weapon parts that you have bought at the station or have stored at the station. This goes as far as components, to paint jobs, to weapon types. The next important feature is your inventory system. This can be accessed by pressing I. Inventory systems are separated by stations. This means that if you have nothing at that station, you will not see any items available. There are a few important functions to look at in the inventory menu. One is the location given at the top left, the other is the amount of storage you have left given on the right. There is also a filter system that allows you to navigate through your items more easily. The inventory system is dynamic. By this I mean if you were to open it while in a ship inside of a station, you would be able to access both your ship's inventory and your station's inventory. This would allow you to transfer items from one place to another. Just keep in mind that when you transfer anything to your ship, if you lose your ship in any way by it being destroyed or exploding in any matter, you will lose everything inside of your ship. This means that all items are also stored in your ship indefinitely until such thing happens. The other way to lose your items is if you claim your ship through the terminal. While claiming your ship does not make you lose any of the ship components on your ship, anything stored within the ship independent of the ship will be lost. Now that you know how to move your inventory around and how to get your ship, let's actually navigate to our ship. Once you claim your ship, your terminal should tell you where your ship is located. If it doesn't, you can look around till you see it on your HUD. It should give you a hangar or pad location. Then just navigate to the elevators nearby and take them to the pad or hangar that is appropriate for your ship's location. Once you're in the hangar, you're going to have to open her up to get into space. To do this, you can either go through your Moby Glass and go to the Contacts Manager or hit F11. 
Once you're in there, go to the Friends section on the top left hand side, then look for the corresponding spaceport and hail them. This can be done by just clicking on the button. Before you're able to land at other stations, you're also going to have to request landing clearance. To do this, you would do the same thing as long as you're close to the station, or you could set a key binding for request landing. Now that we're in our ship, we can go ahead and take off into space. Before we're able to warp anywhere, we have to exit the planet's atmosphere. Now that we're out of the atmosphere, you may be wondering how can I explore different locations or what can I do in this universe? To find things to do, we have to go to the Contracts Manager. This can be done by navigating the Moby Glass and selecting Contracts Manager at the bottom. I don't want to go too into this as there's so many things to cover in this section, but I'm going to link in the description box a guide that will let you at least get a general understanding of what the Contracts Manager has. That said, I recommend if you're completely new to these kind of games to first start off with delivery missions, as they're a great way to explore the universe and get a little understanding of how to move your ship around the universe. The last thing I want to cover for you is the map. You can reach it directly by hitting F2. While in the map, you should see your location highlighted by the flashing triangle. If you can't see it, you can navigate to the very top of the map and select the button on the top right hand side. This will focus the camera on wherever your location is. You can rotate the map around by holding the left click or pan the camera around by holding right click. You can also zoom in and out with the mouse wheel and you can double click with right mouse to reset the location. As long as you are out of atmosphere and without anything blocking your route from one location to another, you should be able to easily select a location and set a route by selecting Set Route at the top of the map. Now while I could go more into detail about navigation, I want to cut this tutorial here as this pretty much covers the essential things that you need to be able to move around the universe. If you want to learn more things, I will be expanding on this tutorial and adding more in-depth things about other features such as navigation. That said, at the moment I have a list of tutorials available, and I'll link in the description box a playlist with all those tutorials. They will be updated with every patch as needed, and will be listed in chronological order of importance of things that you should learn. I'm also including two websites that I think are fundamental to Star Citizen. One is Cornerbase, which allows you to find any item in the universe in its location. And the other is Urkel.Games, which allows you to fit any ship with items and allows you to find the location of said items or ship. But that's it for this video, and thanks again for joining. If you want to stay updated with these kind of videos, don't forget to subscribe and like.